Okay, so Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. So today we are gathered here in the Zoom session. So we will be discussing on our reflection for PEC 700 where we have done um, weekly activities, portfolio as well as um, a awareness campaign. And specifically our awareness campaign topic is anti-bullying society club. Okay, so my name is Fazrina Natasha and I will start with the reflection. So for the first question is, what was your task? So uh, overall for my task in this assignment, uh, I wouldn't say that we everyone has a specific task because I believe that everyone has equally contributed into every part of uh, the assignment. But what we did individually was logo, poster, as well as brochure. And also I believe that everyone has uh, completed their tasks. And as for the storyboard, um, we were required to do a two page, two page of six column uh, storyboard and I did um, one of the storyboard and I believe that other my group member were in charge of um, other part. For the second question, what was the online IT tool that you used to complete the task? Um, I, I, I use a several tools um, which mainly featured Canva application um, and also comic i believe it's the comic as for the poster logo as well as the brochure uh my main application that i use was canva uh because it features uh, many types of um, pamphlet as well as theme and it is uh, and i'm quite familiar with the app so that is why i prefer to choose canva and for the storyboard i use comics con uh, that was my first time of using that app, a specific application. To me, it was pretty confusing and it was time consuming because I had to redo uh, a few times uh, due to not being familiarized with the um, application. Um, for the third question is, what was the problem or issue did you encounter during the activity and while using the online IT tools? Um, as this is my fifth semester, I do not encounter any problem or issue during the activity because I'm kind of um, I kind of got used to it and I am I think it has became like something that um, I am familiarized with and also while using the online IT tool I wouldn't say that I encounter any issues because most of the application that I use <coughs> are those applications that I have been using throughout are my time doing degree as well as foundation, uh, only that the issue was when I was using Comics Con for the first time ever. That was quite challenging for me, but I think it is uh, the experience uh, that made it uh, worth it because I believe that I will, most probably I would use the application in the future for the assignment. So I'm glad that I did now. Uh, moving on to the next question, how is the problem resolved and what was your effort? Mm. A problem is maybe uh, not being able to have a proper discussion because we were um, we were doing most of it, most of the discussions were done online virtually. So I think that was pretty hard to be able to um, get into everyone's schedule, uh, to be able to, um, you know, to be on everyone's availability. And the effort was that I think we managed to um, resolve it as I think in when, when you're doing something as a group, it is important that everyone cooperates and as well as communicate. Um, 
So I think whatever the issue was, it was resolved. Uh, it was resolved peacefully and there was not much of an issue. And moving on to the final question, what did you learn through the, throughout the activity? I would say I learned plenty of things uh, in creating logos, um, brochure, pamphlet, as well as storyboard, and also um, starting up an awareness campaign um, in related to anti-bullying. Um, I would say it is an experience that will be useful in my future, um, in my future journey, say, and also the anti-bullying campaign. I've learned that um, I think I I think it is not an unusual topic. I think it's more of what is happening daily in our current life. But however, um, choosing the topic as our uh, awareness campaign, I think it has actually helped us realize how ill our society is and that um, like students, it needs to be talked like more among students, among um, organizations and also as well as universities side. Uh, and overall, I think that is all for my part. Um, I, will be, I will be passing it to the next presenter, my groupmate, Noor Ayn Khan. Okay, uh, I'll start with my part. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Noor Ayn Khan. Um, as the second presenter, I'll continue to present my part of the reflection based on the weekly activities, which is the logo, poster, brochure, and the storyboard. Okay, starting with the first question, what was my task for the weekly activities? My task, were, my task for the logo and poster was to identify how to grab the attention of our audience, which in turn we gener will generate interest um, in our area of research to be uploaded to our Instagram profile. As for the brochure and the storyboard, my role was to add photos and graphics and adjust the colors with the right fonts to be used. Um, next question. Um, what was the online IT tool that um, I used to complete the task? All right. Um, so basically, I use an online tool called Canva to create the logo, poster, and the brochure. That, um, sorry. Um, then I utilized the storyboard that, um, that dot com website to complete the story in accordance with my group awareness campaign which is anti-bullying awareness thirdly um what was the problem did i encounter while using the online it tool um the problem i encountered while using canva was it does not have um local file storage this means um, if the website is down for some reason, I need to wait to access uh, my designs to make the new changes. The pro um, while the problem with using storyboardthat.com website as an online IT tool is that the tools available that, um, in the website was extremely limited, making it difficult for the user um, to be creative. So that was the problem that I was accounted while doing the uh, weekly activities. Um, moving on to the next question. How was the problem resolved and what was my effort? Okay. My effort to resolve the problem I had when using the online IT tool which is Canva and storyboardthat.com was to take advantage of the tools that were offered and make the whole thing work for a great result. Also, um, to avoid any problems later, I make sure to finish everything and save it to my desktop storage. Final question, what did I learn um, throughout the activity? What I learned from these weekly activities was that I was able to use the online IT tool um, to identify the right type of logo for our group awareness campaign 
Also, by creating the poster, I am able to engage in more creative thinking as a result of my comprehensive knowledge of how to use the IT tool. Then, um, while designing the brochure, I gathered detailed information about our awareness campaign, um, which um, eventually increased my ability to use the IT tool creatively. Lastly, in the creation of the storyboard, I managed to illustrate the story's important scenes um, with the tools provided. Okay, I would say that is it for my part. I'll pass to the next presenter, Muhammad Nur Akiz. Thank you. All right, thank you, Nur Aynhan. Um, I am Muhammad Nur Akizi bin Azizi, the third presenter. So moving on to uh, my individual reflection. So the first question was, uh, what was your task? So my tasks were uh, including logo, doing logo, poster, brochure, storyboard, and video powtoon, which uh, the story retrieved um, from the storyboard. So second question, what was the online IT tool that I, that I used to complete the, uh, the task? <clears throat> the online tool that I used was Canva for the task of logo, brochure, and also poster. But for the storyboard, it was storyboardthat.com. And the project video was down uh was done uh on powtoon website so the third what was the problem or issue uh did you uh, i encounter during the activity while using the online tool so i'm going to like uh divide between the use of canva storyboard.com and also powtoon for the canva um there wasn't issues occurred um that much except for the colors theme that i have to like match here and there and also the elements i think it's because um, I was like in choosing like the right colors and also element in doing like logo, poster and brochure. For the storyboardthat.com, the issue was basically because I have never used uh, that particular platform. Um, and I think that it challenges me um, on how the sequence of um, storyboard would be and their like parallel part of each part of the story to make it like it a uh, parallel from each to uh, the other part. So for the Powtoon, um, this was, I would say, the most problematic uh, platform compared to the other two, because other than I have like a limit use of features, it also because, uh, like I said, the platform of Powtoon was really bad, I would say. I have attempted like quite a few times, uh, I save it manually, and it turns out that my works um, couldn't be found anymore and more is when the website uh, automatically reload on their own the first question how was the problem resolved for Canva I would say I did my I did ask my a few of my group member for a help because uh, some of them um, I believe they are really good with colors finding the right theme for my poster logo and brochure and also the elements for the storyboard that dot com, um, the problem was resolved by learning and research. I did few research of how storyboard must turn on. I asked um, few of um, my lecturers few questions just to ensure that the way I am doing is right uh, for the storyboard and also for the Powtoon. I had no chance but to keep uh, to keep patient while doing it. But luckily, I got to uh, the end. For the last question, what did you learn through the activity? Um, mostly, I learned on how to do and practice those platforms better by learning, researching, and exploring. It resulted that I know how to do the logo poster better. I explore on doing the storyboard as well. And I get to like straighten up my patience by doing the video powtoon because of the like um, website. But overall, it was good learning. It facilitates the teamwork and understanding along uh, with facilitating creative thinking, as well as um, extensive research and reading. Uh, moving on to the last presenter, Zabba Mazlan. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to Madam. Uh, my name is Mohamad Zabba and I'll be the last presenter. So to answer the first question, based on the task that has been given. So recently, um, all of us, all four of us, uh, need to uh, create a uh, poster for our event. And uh, I'm using a Canva as well, same as uh, other students. And um, the next task that I will assign to do is based on the um, 
this on the portal video, whereby both uh, me and Fizi have uh, done this uh, this task by using uh, Poltoon. And uh, I, I uh, based on the uh, summary that I have uh, I have uh, come up with, I think I answered the first and second question. So moving on to the, to the uh, third question. So based on the uh, problem or issue that uh, I have located during the um during the task uh, have been given i think there should uh, there should be no uh, quite a critical issue whereby um i think um especially me fizi uh, we have uh, created a, a good communication whereby we work together especially in in uh, succeeding the Bolton video and I think uh, there should be also no issue or barriers for me to use um, the uh, platform, uh, IT platform, especially on Canva and Bolton. But uh, I would say that these two applications have created a very good, a very uh, good outcome, whereby it simplifies um, um, the matters for the people who are using it, especially for those who were unfamiliar of using it. It simplifies their matters. And based on the uh, question four, uh, based on the efforts that we have shown, I think um, the efforts that most of us are using is based on our own creativity, whereby uh, it, it requires us to uh, make a decision to have a very uh, creative outcome in terms of the poster design, in terms of the coloring, in terms of the uh, font placement itself. And based on what, that I have learned throughout the activity, it's important for us to, um, I would not say that um, not having a critical, th a good um, creative thinking skills, I think it's important for us to have these sorts of, these sorts of elements uh, by ap uh, applying throughout our lives, whereby it is important for us to have a very good, uh, good um, creative, uh, creative mindset for us to tolerate with a, such tasks. And other than that, I think it is important for us to have um, the same, uh, the same understanding, the same vision, whereby most of the groups uh, have their own purposes on succeeding these sorts of activities, such as anti-police sign campaign. So I think that's all from me. Thank you.